This video is a short overview on how we fabricated seven molds for my interlocking stack stone panel system. First, we have the five foot interlocking wall cap prototype. Second, we have the three foot by five foot interlocking panel prototype. Third, we have a different style three by five interlocking panel prototype. Fourth, we have the three foot interlocking outside corner panel prototype. Fifth, we have the three foot interlocking inside corner panel prototype. Sixth, we have the interlocking column cap that fits over our two foot by two foot column. Seventh, we have the five foot interlocking ledge cap prototype. If you would like to see the full video tutorial, which covers the five days it took to make the seven molds, then email me, call, or comment on my channel, and I'll put the footage up on my channel, or you can purchase it through my training course, or come to one of my classes. For the remainder of the video, I'm just going to show an overview of some of the process. Okay, we've got the two different pieces on the, pro on the, on the form and we're going to mud this together. I left a gap so I could get some mud in there. This isn't, this is screwed so well to the plywood that it's not really necessary to try and seam it to bond it together. It ain't coming apart. This is more cosmetic. Oh, we just demolded the whale's tail bench there. And that was just because we had a little time of waiting for the rubber to set up because each layer of rubber requires a little bit of time to set up before you can put another one. But this is that three by five panel like this one, only it's formed and rubbered. And then we've got this corner, which is an outside corner. And right now we just got done putting this level on and with a corner that's that's like a like a V on the table normally when I set it down, this this half would be out of 45 and this half would be the other 45. I've still got to drop this edge down and recoat all of this one more time. And we will have it finished rubber and tomorrow we'll make the hard mold. I didn't put the camera on today. We're gonna to be doing the rest of these and I'll get some more shots of these different molds being casted but right now we've got this outside corner and this three by five flat panel we'll see you later we got rubber all applied on this three by five right here and there's one over there somewhere right over there there's a three by five that's rubbered and formed this is rubbered and formed so we can pour this with cement and this with cement and i shouldn't say pour it's really forming and dylan's just oiling this one up this is an outside corner that we're doing in two pieces so we have just formed up this side we've used a little clay we cut the form as best we could to undulate the t the uh the edge of the corner and then once that's done we'll take that off here in about an hour or so take this form off and then we'll mud this side right up against this flange that we're about to make but when this flange is up, we'll oil the flange. The cement will be the form. Right now, the wood's the form. In a minute here, uh, in an hour, we'll be able to take this form off, this one, and then there'll be a cement flange vertically standing, and we'll just mud that. But it'll have some oil on it for release. So he, we're just getting Josiah's over there mixing some mud, and we're gonna be putting it in here, and in here. And in there. So we got three molds rubbered so far. We still got another one, two, three, four, and then we're making this one again, five. And there's another one around here, six. Anyway, we'll be back with you. All right, we got the whale's tail stained and polished. I just got to seal it. And we're doing that amongst a mold making project which we just took the forms that were used to form the rubber and now we've got it to where we've formed the cement casting which will be the hard mold and he's just finishing that one up but we've got the form all ready to go and this one we're still 
We've got to drill, we've got to deform the, uh, the casting of the heart mold. And then we're going to have to drill this flange three places along that way, along this axis. So we, we put bolts through here, three bolts that'll hold that together and keep the 90 degree square that we have here, this factory, this flange makes that stay together. And we're gonna deform that here momentarily and get it drilled and then take it apart. And use it for a casting and mold. Just now getting around to what, three days after we made the rubber, then we casted the hard mold and we just lifted it off using the, uh, the hoist, the chain hoist here, but this one is successfully off. A lot of times this whole table will lift off the ground even though you've got the straps on there, it's stuck to the rubber. And that's why we release it with oil. I mean, we use motor oil. We want a heavy release and it just popped right off. So we were pretty fortunate with that. This is rigged. We'll just set it down. Let's uh, pick it up and we'll do this for the camera. We just kind of like this. Flip it. Sorry. Flip it and just kind of stand it up right there so they can see it a little bit. Go up a little higher on this and we'll just hold it straight up in the air. Lay it back just a little. Lay it back. There you go. Lay, lay it all right there. That's beautiful. And this has got a little bit. Where do we get the wood? Oh, that's clay. That's pretty nice though. Feel if there's any air pockets in the teeth. You'll feel soft sponginess. That feels really, I got one right here. That's not bad though. See how oily they have that is? Yeah. All right, we'll just set this, uh, we just leave it right In the prototype, do that other side a little bit. Get you another chisel and go do that other side. Go do the other side too. That should, it's it's coming apart. You can see a gap in here or this is coming off of the, the form. And if he does it equally, see that's all coming off. That's getting bigger. He's going to drop any second now. Lift up, lift up. Okay, good. Uh, pry bar. 
Actually, wedge. Wedge is your next instrument. You stick a wedge in this now, in here, right on this outside. You can't hit the mold. You gotta be outside on the cement. Do the other side, equally, equally, equally. So now we're sticking in some big wedges. And it's still stuck, it's not free yet. There you go. You got it. Okay, let's uh, roll this rubber off and take your take your tools off and throw them on the. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Yep. show them that stand that up this way kind of show them that's a nice inside corner ready to put into action beautiful right on all right we'll be back with you well that's going to conclude this video just kind of showing you this ledge cap mold here real quick but uh if you guys want to see this in much more detail really every part of this was filmed and is edited and if you want to also come out to a hands-on class where we do specific uh projects as to your desired effect uh, give me a call email me or comment and we'll get a hold of you thanks for watching guys uh, like my channel and subscribe i really appreciate your uh watching thank you bye